Hello everyone. In my recent job search, I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video, we will be solving a question that was asked in JobPay. So, without wasting time, let's get started. So, the interviewer asked me to create a polyfill for map array method. Let's let's start coding this question. So, here is an ID, and let me create an array. Let me create a numbers array where I'll give some random numbers, maybe one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, let's understand what this map map method is, right? So, with map method, we can iterate over each and every element of an array, and we can we can do some data manipulation on top of that array and we can return a new array on top of the old array and the old array won't be manipulated or mutated uh, with this uh, map so let me show how this map works so let's say i'll i'll try to double the numbers that are present within this numbers array so i'll create an constant where i can store my double numbers also remember that this map method returns an array um, so here whatever i return will be stored in double numbers so numbers dot map of that will be callback function within the map method right so this is let's say this is the callback function within the map so within this callback it will have um, element which will be maybe here a uh, number and index of the element will be present as we don't need index i'll just do this way now what i can do is i'll i'll have to return number into two to double the numbers basically so with this what happens is each and every number within this numbers array will be doubled and it will be returning a new array which will be stored in this double number so let me console and show you the output here for the double numbers so let me execute it if you see the numbers are doubled and also the number array won't get changed as well mm and um, so the same functionality we have to create with uh, our map polyfill method as well so here what we can do is let me create a callback right uh, let me reuse this particular uh, function here constant double is my callback function where it have uh, two parameters right Two parameters it will accept and uh, if I call this particular double method here within this it will ideally output the same yeah so now I need to I need to create a polyfill for this map which will output whatever this uh, particular console statement is outputting so let's get started to create a polyfill for an array method, we can extend array.prototype with whatever function we wanted. So I'll extend my array dot prototype with my own map method, right? And I'll be creating a function for this map method where if let's say if I call this particular right if i call this particular item item with my map doubled polyfill numbers should ideally give an array similar to this when i console this particular particular doubled polyfill numbers it should ideally give this particular array so now to have this particular array I need to iterate over each and every number right and also if you observe double numbers will accept a callback so here this particular my map should also accept a callback and so this callback will be this nothing but this so and also here I'll I'll have to return a new array right 
I'll have to return a new array instead of changing the old array because array map won't ideally mutate the old array. So let me create a new array, right? Result array where I'll store my result and I'll iterate over each and every element in my array because uh, I need to do data manipulation for each and every element. So I'll have to iterate over each and every element element. So let i equals to zero, i should be less than. So here one one more thing is my map is being all called on top of you know these numbers. So in this particular function, in this particular function, this keyword refers to these numbers ideally. So here let me let me do this let me i mean this keyword is nothing but numbers because my my map is being called on top of this number so eth and i plus plus let me show these uh this as well because you might you might get confused uh what exactly this this is so let me console this uh here so here this is this nothing here this is nothing but this right now i'm iterating over each and every element and for each and every element i'll have to do my data manipulations basically where i'll call my callback function i'll call my callback function with each and every element that is present so my callback function is double and this double accepts two elements which is element and then the index so here i don't need index but if 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 here i'm here i'm not using my index so i need not to pass index but let's say i'm passing you know index here index is nothing but this i and now whatever this callback is written i need to have that within my result array so let me push it into my result array so the index ith index of my result array will have the result from this callback so yeah now at the end i can return my result and this will give the resultant double numbers let me let me execute this to show what exactly it is outputting here the elements contain in these two arrays are same so our um, polyfill for my map method is working as expected if we wanted to test for any other example let's um, let's say i'll create i'll create one more one more method which will say multiply multiply so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have say I'm going to multiply each and every element with three. Let's say return number into three. Number into three. So now let me pass it to this as well as this. So if you observe, it should ideally give same output for these two. This one as well as this one. So let me execute it and see. Here there are some issues multiply before initialization. So let me move it to the top. Let me execute it. Yeah, if you observe the elements in these two arrays are same. So yeah, our map um, polyfill is working as expected. And um, I have created a blog on this as well. And the link for the blog is available in the description. Please do refer description and check out the code. And also please do subscribe to my channel.